This video was sponsored by oddbeachexpress.com. Oddbeach Express Stock Media by subscription is a new site that offers high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Their content includes stock footages up to 5K resolution, music, sound effects, images, and After Effects templates. Sign up today for a free account at oddbeachexpress.com and receive 19 free pre selected stock media downloads. No credit cards, payments, or obligations required. Create your free account today. What is happening everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to do some awesome color grading for your wedding shots in Adobe After Effects. This tutorial is 100% After Effects, so no plugins being used and I'm gonna keep this very beginners friendly. So even if you are not a hardcore editor, you can still follow along and have some awesome color in your video, right? So uh, getting started guys, I would like to say, and also, yeah, also, uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of different shots, right? So this way, even if one technique doesn't work for you, technique two or technique three will definitely get the work done, right? And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to really show some good, uh, you know, color tones in the skin and just remove the dullness of the video. So as you can see here, you know, the white is not white enough. Uh, it, there's a lot of dullness in the video, but that's gone. The white pops really nice. There is some good color in the skin tones and that is what color grading is all about. Right, so again, no plugins being used, very easy to follow, and let's get started. So I have my uh, video here, video one. I'm gonna take it and drop it to the new composition. Uh, select the video, and then deselect it. Uh, create a new adjustment layer. Basically, we don't want to apply any effects to the video, right? That's a destructive way of working. New adjustment layer, this is much better. So adjustment layer, name it CC. We'll go to FX and presets, go to color correction, and we look for an effect called curves, right? Apply it to the CC layer. And basically what we want to do is again, we want to remove that yellow tone. So the way we do that is firstly, I would like to increase the lightness of the video a little bit, add a little bit of contrast in the video, change the channel to red, right? And then decrease it just a bit, just a bit. Go to blue and then add that a lot. And you will see, that the red or uh, the the yellow tone has been removed now you now depending on your shot guys you can you know add a little contrast in the blue but as you can see this is giving me the green effect that i really don't want and if i increase this this is going a little towards the blue side so i'm gonna leave it right there okay uh, and as you can see the the yellowness that intense yellowness has definitely been removed now what you want to do is I now again you depending on what you want to do guys with your shot you can go about uh, adding levels auto color auto contrast and those effects one other way of adding color would be to duplicate the video okay if you if you're not seeing this mode go to right uh, right click columns and apply modes right uh, and change the blend mode of the second the one we just duplicated to add you're gonna see that's uh, blowing out a lot that's okay Hit the T key on the keyboard for revealing the opacity and change this to 15, 20, 25. That's gonna add a little bit more warmness to the shot. So we, we're not having a very you know dull color where it's only skin tones. We're having some nice light on the skin and making the full video pop really well. Right? I, I think that's a little too much in my opinion. I'll take it down to 15, right? Maybe even 10. There you go, that looks really nice to me. So we went from this to this. Right, and very easy to do. We just did it in a couple of layers. There's two extra layers actually. And we have a very good shot, right? So once you have your edit locked in in Premiere Pro, you can send these footages by right clicking, replace with After Effects composition, send them to After Effects, and then you can color grade them like that, right? So here is uh, one technique, just uh, go to curves. And if you want to remove uh, a yellow color, then go to RGB, right? Adjust the lightness. Go to red, remove, reduce that a bit, go to blue, push that up, and then depending on that, the yellow is definitely gonna be removed like that, and then you can see where you want to go, right? So that's example one. Let's take a look at example two. So we have example two here. Now, this is a very realistic shot because, you know, your, your lighting situations may not be the best most of the times, right? And you can see that the shot is very nice, right? The, the, the couple is holding hands, you know, really, really well, but, the darkness is a lot right their skin tones are not popping enough they're not looking very vibrant uh the white is also getting a little bit dull this is a dark color it's not i think this is okay the darkness here is okay but it can use a little bit of contrast so let's work on this shot now um 
remo remove that so you, you can preview the shot if you want but I'm just gonna jump right in new adjustment layer again do not apply any effects straight to the video that's a very destructive way of working uh, adjustment layer right right click and you know they name the CC again go to now you can use these auto colors these are really really nice like you can apply auto contrast and as you can see it's definitely doing something uh, auto levels is also nice right and auto color so definitely all three would work very well but we want to have the control of adjusting things so we'll do it manually with curves in in auto you don't have a lot of options to change things so that's why we don't work with that professionals won't work with auto very much um, again come to curves and uh, we'll increase this a bit right now the problem with this effect awesome babel is that if I was to increase this the white is shining a lot and there's this noise being revealed in the pants of the gentleman right the the color is not looking very nice over here so let me let me reset this first what I'll do is that most of the times if you watch other color correction tutorials on YouTube they would create an S curve like that right but as you can see an S curve in this situation is definitely not good the red is getting a lot of contrast it's not looking very nice so I'll reset this and instead of an S curve we'll do the exact opposite we will take the down part like this lower part and he'll push this up and he'll push this guy down a bit now when I push this down you can see what's happening is that I'm losing a lot of detail in the hand and hand is the highlight of this shot so you want to you know make that thing pop a lot so it should, like you can try to bring this down in some cases it would work but in this case in my case it's not working right so that looks a little bit better to me now what I want to do is I want to remove like I don't want any changes to happen on you know this part of the video the white and the hands are looking awesome but th the pants of this dude is not you know getting very well uh, you know corrected I if anything the noise is coming back in it's not looking very nice so what we can do and this is you know we're going to use a, a, a feature of After Effects called masking and uh, don't worry it's very easy just select the layer go to um, take the pen tool for this right and we'll just draw a nice mask like this as a matter of fact let me do it in the simple way we will do something like this now a professional would never do it like this a professional would do something like that right so click and drag to create a much better curve but if you're having difficulty with that then do it like this is not a problem okay but I'm not gonna do that um, there you go right and what's gonna happen is that when this mask is applied we basically remove the color correction all the effect of this adjustment layer to only this part of the video and this part is no longer being affected by this effect okay so that is basically what a mask does it hides things and it reveals a certain part of an image at the same time so hiding this part revealing this part and as you can see but the problem with this is that you're gonna get this bad line over here no worry we can fix this very easily uh, select the layer hit the F key on the keyboard and then let's just feather it out All right and as you can see the darkness of the panda and, and, and of the suit is being maintained and the white of the of the I think it's called the Blown, blown. I forgot the name, <laughs> but uh, basically this part is being revealed very nicely, right? So uh, let's preview. This is before, after. Now, like I told you guys before, that the hands are the highlight of the shot, right? Uh, what what is this just called? Blown. I I seriously don't remember. Anyways, um, so the highlight is the hands, right? Now, so what we'll do is that we'll create uh one more adjustment layer. CC two we go to curves on that and we'll just increase the curves just a bit now what I want you to do is I want you to focus only on the hands okay don't don't worry about color being bad here there just focus on the hands and see if they look good or no okay so we'll put it here and as you can see the hands are looking good the the this part is being blown uh, up, up a bit but that's okay okay so reset this and do it properly there you go right now what we'll do is we'll use a masking feature again we'll use a pen tool now you can use these tools too if you want but just to keep the tutorial simple I'm gonna use a pen tool so I'm gonna create a mask around the hand like this right I'll hit the and when I remove like whenever I deselect everything you can see 
that the outlines are being shown and it's not looking the best so we'll hit the F key again and like previously we'll just feather out feather it out like that right and if you feel that that portion is it looks edited it looks like okay we did something to the video clip then no worries we can select the CC layer or CC2 layer hit the T key on the keyboard for opacity and we can just bring this down just a bit so this was before and this is after right so you can see it adds that little extra effect and makes the audiences uh, you know like I go to it right it helps your eye that that's exactly what color correction and color creating is all about uh, you know guiding your eye to the point where you want to focus um, so this was before right and this is after right looks really nice now when we see before and after it looks really bad like we have edited on something but this is blending in perfectly it doesn't look edited at all and if you play this you can see that it is functional it's not like this is not gonna work somewhere and you know beautiful right so again before after before after super good job done uh, next let's take a look at video 3 right um, okay so this is a good shot too right right his hand comes over her and very nice very cinematic super you know Batman Superman like <laughs> but uh, okay so what's the problem what do you want to fix now firstly as you can see just for the tutorial guys I have imported the video footages straight into After Effects. Usually, you would be editing in Premiere Pro and then bringing very small clips to After Effects, like one second, two second, three second. Max to max is going to be four, five seconds, but you'll never have a 14, 15 second shot in After Effects, right? Like that's just practicing. That is just uh, you know editing in something. Like you have to edit your video in Premiere Pro and then send small chunks to After Effects. That's the best way of working, in my opinion, at least. So again remember that this is just a tutorial and that's why I have such a long clip usually someone would already select the best part of the footage and then send only that much to After Effects so for the tutorial we'll assume that uh, the editing is done and about this much part is the best part of the video footage so the first five seconds that that is what we are interested in rest we don't care okay that's a bad part we, we want to cut that out but actually let's not do that let's do it from Two seconds right uh, maybe from one second to about five seconds that that is how much we are interested in usually this is an editor's job so if you're editing you, you know you, you, you'll do this in Premiere Pro and uh, once you have done it you're gonna you, you're gonna send it to After Effects for uh, color correction or color grading new adjustment layer again do not apply any effects to the video straight away apply it to the adjustment layer CC and uh, we'll apply curves again. Curves is my favorite, guys. You can apply auto uh, auto color for doing it auto, but we we don't get a lot of control here. Um, auto contrast that looks good too. Auto levels. Uh, sometimes what I would do is I would apply these colors uh, just to see what what uh, kind of effect I want, right? And once I think that okay, this looks good, but maybe this part is not looking the best, right? Then I'll delete this. And then I'll start working on the video and try to achieve this effect without this problem, right? That is at least how I think. So this is uh, what we want, right? But we'll create it ourselves with curves and levels. So apply it to curves, right? Uh, what you can do is we can push this up, right? Instead of bringing it down, usually people bring it down. So we'll push this up like so. And then, like, okay, this is looking nice. We are not having a lot of whitewash here. The colors are not being uh, being blown out. But the one thing that I'm not happy with is that the skin looks very pale, right? It's not having a, like the fingers here, this much portion is looking good, but this palm part and her hand, it's, it's not looking the best. It can look better. So we'll duplicate this, right? We'll delete the curves that we have. And we'll apply the curves again. <laughs> we could have reset it, but uh, anyways, uh, we'll go to red, push that up just a bit, or maybe not. We we'll go to blue. There you go. All right. And now, guys, if you ever want to make like a very small adjustment, like you know, just a bit. Now, if you see, if I move it just a bit, the full video footage is being affected, right? There is a better way of applying these small effects. Uh, and subtle effects to your video and that is by using an effect called levels 
Now you have auto levels here, you can use that. Um, but I like to work with levels because it gives me more control. So apply levels and uh, uh, for some reason guys, yeah, there you go. For some reason it, it didn't update. Um, okay, so this is our levels uh, uh, effect. We're gonna go to RGB and we'll push this up like so, all right? We go to red, push this up just a bit and we'll push it from the left as well. Again, the, the reason I'm not explaining anything like what this does is because I want to keep this big enough friendly. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you guys are not interested in becoming editor. You just want to focus on the color correction part, all right? And uh, over here, you can very really clearly see that we have that that we are pushing blues a lot. Like the like the color of the white is changing. It's not looking very nice. So sometimes, awesome people, you'll have to experiment a bit and see what works best, right? You can see that there's a green, you know, a little bit of green here. That part is being affected. But but if I bring it from here, you can see there's a lot of green being popped here. So that's not what we want. That that redness is looking nice, but it's also being affected uh, in in the whites. So I'm gonna keep it a little low, like so. There you go guys. That looks really nice to me. If I look at his hand, you can see color much better. So this is before, after, before, after, right? Now, uh, one thing I would like to, now actually guys, there's gonna be a continuation to, to this video where I'm gonna show you how to create awesome wedding titles. You know, after this, make sure you watch that too because in that I'm gonna show you some more um, ways of creating some better effects for your uh, videos in general like your wedding videos in general um, and I think that this video 3 is not looking that great you know sometimes awesome people when you're working on something things will start to look so good because you have worked hard on it give yourself a little break and come back to that composition and that project a little later and you'll see your faults uh, you know sometimes clearly too so in, in this case I feel that this video is not bright enough so what I'll do is I'll duplicate this video and I'll change the blend mode to add. So now make this pop a lot. I'm going to reduce the opacity to 25. All right. Way better. Really, really nice. Uh, maybe I can add a mask on the footage as well. All right. Reduce it like so. Add a feather to remove to get rid of that uh, of, of that edge. That looks much better to me. So this was before. This was after, right? This looks a lot better to me. Now, also, awesome people. One thing that I'm seeing here is that when we move ahead, the mask is not keeping up with the hand. You can see that the mask is over here. That it's, it's supposed to be covering the full thing. So instead of doing a rotoscopy, what I would do is I would actually include the hand like this. I think we shouldn't have, yeah, I think that's a much better depiction and that uh, proper covering of the hand, right? Right, so it starts good and lo looks good at the end too. Now sometimes you'll have to rotoscope, uh, you know, some parts like at few frames but in this case, I don't think we're going to need that. So let's take a look at this before and after, right? Before, after. Looks awesome. Uh, let's take a look at this guy. Uh, before, after. So this is really, really nice, guys. Um, again, you know, no color correction, like no third party plugins being used. Uh, I think if I had the option of color correct, uh, of using uh, Magic Bullet and Colorista, the work would have gone a lot faster. But um, this is okay. This is okay. Not that bad, right? Superb. And again, at the end, awesome people, I would just like to say that if you you have to remember that this is a YouTube tutorial, right? I have to keep the video short as much as possible. So if you invest time into your footage and uh, you know uh, see to it that it works, it, like it looks good, 
then you're gonna have much better results than just following me and following me hard and fast that you apply curves and you know go to levels and this and that go for uh, effects like vibrance right let me actually show it to you it's, it's this is a very powerful effect where you can make the colors pop a lot you can see this the hand colors are really popping and use it and see what works best right experiment a bit and you'll see that your results are much better than just following me hard and fast okay so with that note i would like to end this tutorial i hope you enjoyed i hope you understood uh, what we are going for how to do some color creating for your wedding shots and how to work with curves if you are stuck somewhere so thank you so much for watching my video my name is tj style i hope you enjoyed you guys take care and i will see you all next time thank you for watching